Uh, good morning, everybody. Saturday morning here with the Speed King in the studio. Early, of course, it's about 6.30 or so on Saturday mornings. Coffee with the Speed King. One of my favorite times in the morning is on Saturday to sit in the studio and look at some past performances. We're going to take a look over there at a stake race at Aquadot on Saturday, on Sunday, actually. And uh, it is the Floral Park Stakes. It's for uh, fillies and mares on the turf. Three-year-olds and up. Six panels. It's only a field of seven. And we have three AE horses, eight, nine, and ten, where they're entered for main track only. So the weather's going to be great. The eight, nine, and ten should not get in this race because it should stay on the turf for sure. But before we dial in, as always, please do me a big, big favor, as always. Uh, please turn your closed captions on, that way you can see the horses, uh, or the dialogue at least, on the bottom of the screen. That's the editing software we use, but you have to turn your closed captions on. And remember, subscribe, ring the bell, do the things you do. As always, hit the notification button, and most of all, support us. Our, our tip sheets are a great way to do that. Of course, Breeders' Cup is coming up. We'll have them available for both days, Friday and Saturday, for 20 bucks for sure each day. Great way to support us. Email me at speedking24 at yahoo.com. And, of course, you can buy your Speed King a coffee. Uh, that it's under the description there where you could do so. Well, on Sunday, 8th race, beautiful Belmont at Aquadot. Still don't understand that. But, anyway, you know, a field of seven. And we're going to go right to our top pick. One of the weaknesses we have has always been for the number two horse at 9-5, to five, Lady Edith. That's what I said. Lady Edith, four wins from 15 starts. One of my favorite horses. And uh, three-thirds by Street Boss on the back end by Yankee Gentleman, right? Trained by the classy Christopher Clement, y'all. This is a very, very nice horse. We all understand who Lady Edith is. She's tangled with some nice ones, of course. And to me, she had this feel dead to right. Her speed figures are fantastic. Uh, of course, she doesn't have much speed, but she should be picking them up, laying them down when they turn from home, for sure. She exited a stake race on August 20th at Saratoga some 57 days ago. Smart and fancy stake race. She was making up a bunch of ground, but of course, you know, Caravelle was in that race, and we've handicapped Caravelle in a Saturday race, for sure, here. So, again, to me, there's no caravels in here or no change of control, if you ask me, or illegal small. So, to me, Lady Edith should absolutely handle this bunch in here. Their suspect is a small field, and she should have it her own way. Now, I think the horse get a little upgrade. No disrespect to my boy, uh, Trevor McCarthy, who's ridden this horse the last three, three or four times. You know, Joe Rosario's in the arms today for Lady Edith. Uh, Edith, you know, for Clement off of a 57-day freshening. You know I love that. So to me, this is our best bet of the day. We think that she should absolutely handle this horse. We have her as 4 to 5 if we were making the morning line. Her win probability is 28% in this small field of 7. To me, Lady Edith is a very, very nice wager here. If you get 9 to 5 or 2 to 1, this is a horse to just bet to win for sure. And our second pick here is going to be Kept Waiting. Well, Kept Waiting don't need to apologize to anyone for sure. The number six horse is only two to one, maybe a tab underlay, but just about where she should be if we were making the morning line here. Six wins from 16 starts. That's awfully, awfully nice. Four seconds and two thirds. She's by Broken Val on the back end by Malibu Moon. Mr. Falcone Jr. is doing all of the training. And of course, you got that genius in the arm too. Irad Ortiz to hustle him, man. That boy likes to hustle, hustle, hustle for sure, you know. So you're going to get a pristine ride. The horse is coming out of an allowance race uh, on September 29th at uh, Belmont at Aquedot. Well, won the race nicely. Maybe this five-year-old is moving forward if a five-year-old can move forward. But I tell you now, two back on July 23rd, she was beaten by Lady Edith. She finished seven by four. Lady Edith finished third against Robin Sparkle, who's a very, very nice horse and super sensation. So again, to me, the speed figures are a cut below, but don't get it twisted. Keep uh, kept waiting, can flat out run, and maybe that last race 
pushed her over the top where she's going to run a little bit better and maybe improve and if there's such a thing for a five-year-old with only 16 starts but six wins that's very strong i don't like the two to one on her i do like two to one on lady edith though because it's just a different ball game but you have to respect the number six horse if you ask me this horse is a win contender here and should be taken very very serious for sure well then, uh, you know, we're going to take the Speed as our third pick here. What else is new, Speed King? Nothing. Right? How about Igloo? Wow, Igloo's on the rail, 6-1. to one. Hello, it's Jonathan Thomas. You got Frankie Mano, uh, Frankie from Manny Franco in the arms. The horse has been away for 116 days on the rail and clearly the speed of the race. So would you be surprised if the one horse speed pop him? Never. Why? Because speed is king. Anytime a horse is out there bounding on the lead by himself, right? Hey, listen, man, the horse saved grounds. He stays away from getting in trouble and they got to catch him, collar him and go by. That's what John Forbes told me. So again, to me, Igloo probably will be on all my tickets. Why? Speed is what? You got it. It's king. I always like my horses for a uh, place. Lady Edith or no Lady Edith. The number one horse as our third pick will be on all of our tickets. I mean, two wins from seven starts, one second, two thirds. Hey, listen, Jonathan Thomas doing the training. Manny ain't no joke. And the horse is six to one. So, you know, so again, those are our top three picks. And remember, anytime we give you our top three picks, well, we put them in order of preference. But again, any one of the three can win the race. That's what we're saying. Our horses will be down there near the wire for sure. So in this year's um, uh, Floral Park Stake Race on Sunday, eighth race, our top pick is going to be Lady Edith. We think she has them dead to right, and she should. She should absolutely beat this hill, and we're calling her our best bet. And our second pick, who we don't like the price on, kept waiting, deserves a good, good look. We'll need to improve a little bit for sure, and we always love the speed. Igloo is our third pick for sure. Now, the other horse in the race is too sexy. I don't know. This horse is trained by Clement, which is his second horse. He also has Lady Edith in here. But Clement has the number three too sexy. I don't know. I'm going to take a wait-and-see approach on this horse. This horse has a lot of big breaks. Uh, in her. Well, not a lot of big breaks. But, you know, a couple breaks in her lines, and I'm not sure what's going on with her. I'm not crazy about too sexy, so forget her. I'm throwing the three out. Clement or no Clement. So, in this year's Floral Park, we think it's all about the number two, Lady Edith. If you get nine to five or two or two to one, I'm telling you to bet this horse to win. That's our best bet. So for us, it's two, six, one with our eyeball on the one horse from the rail with Mr. Franco in the arms. This horse is very speedy, but Lady Edith should catch him. So for us, two, six, one. Thinking that the number two horse is the bet of the day for us is our best bet. We're going to key the horse. We're going to bet if we get two to one, nine to five, we're betting Lady Edith to win. And we'll put her over the six one. Ah, maybe we'll throw the other Clement underneath to round out our exotics. But we love, love Lady Edith in this spot for sure. On Sunday, eighth race, a beautiful aqueduct for sure. Stay classy, y'all, in everything you do. Have a great, great weekend. Watch a little ball games. You know, watch the old baseball games. Very interesting what's going on there for sure. And as always, email me if you need anything or you need to discuss anything at speaking24 at yahoo.com. Always love to hear from you. I'll get back to you as soon as I can, you know, and as well as with the comments for sure as we move towards Breeders' Cup in about three weeks. Stay classy, y'all. And again, let me tip my mitt to y'all for sure. Saturday morning, coffee with the Speed King. I'm always having a bunch of fun in the studio on Saturday morning. Stay classy, y'all.